Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Hoob with Hoob's Garage. Uh, it's Tuesday, so we got the uh, Tour Review Tuesday going on over here. So if you followed the channel for any amount of time, you knew that before I had picked up this Icon half inch flex head. And I liked it pretty well. And uh, the only flex head I had was this old Craftsman. Well, I got the half inch and the three eighths. I've had these for years, really long time. And they're okay. But the only reason I was looking for something different, I was looking at something with, you know, some finer teeth in it. You know, this thing's only like, what, 30 tooth, I think, these old Craftsman's. You can hear there. So I was pretty happy to pick this one up. Like I said, I've already got a video about the half inch one. The only thing I didn't like about it at the time was that it didn't have any sort of locking there. It just kind of swivels, never stays in place. Where this Craftsman, it's kind of got those grooves where it can lock in one position. So at first, I kind of thought I wouldn't like this. But then, the more I played around with it and used it, like I was actually thinking about getting a 3 8 and a quarter inch in gear wrench. At the time, I thought that's the direction I was going to go. But the more I played around with this thing, the more I used it, the more I come to really like it. It's not locking in place. It doesn't really affect it at all. You know, as long as you're putting pressure on it, it pretty much stays right where you need it to. So, yeah, the more I played around with it, the more I become to <clears throat> really, really, really like it. So, I decided that instead of going with the gear wrench, I was going to go ahead and finish off the set of uh, the Icon just in the flex head. I got plenty of other ratchets. So I went ahead and went back and bought the whole set. Well, not the whole set. They make a short handle 3 8 flex head and a short handled half inch. They only got one size in the quarter inch drive. So I already cut the little plastic things right here, but I'll break it out and let you see it. Open up. So as soon as you take it out of the box there, it's got a nice little case. Like I've talked about with a half inch, those cases are nice, but I don't use them because they just take up too much room. Way too much room. You see, it's a pretty sweet little ratchet. I'm really liking it so far. It's kind of dark over here. Let me turn some light on. More light. More light. Where's my light? Oh, now I'm shaking the camera. There we go, that might make things a little better. I think these are 90 tooth. And of course, just like the other ones, they don't lock either. Yeah. Didn't figure those two would lock when the other one didn't. So there's my hand, it's about that long. Pretty sweet little unit. I really like it. Just like the half inch, it comes with that little piece of cardboard in there for whatever reason. And you get the little rag, wipe fingerprints and everything off. And we got our three eighths here. I may go back and buy the other shorter three eighths and a shorter half inch just to have the whole set. <clears throat> I don't know. I really don't need it. And that's kind of why I'm trying to stray away from buying tools that I don't need. But I'll save some money. It's hard to do when you like buying tools. Though. Of course, I'm sure it's 92 too. Nice finish. I don't know. I'm, I'm really digging this Icon stuff. Of course, I'm not a professional. Not a professional at all, like I've said in about every video. Oh, yeah, it says 90 tooth right here. Not a professional at all. I'm just an idiot messing around in the garage. I really don't think I'm qualified to be touching anything. Anything I work on should not even be loud on the road, in my opinion. But I like just messing around. 
And see, I think this one said how long it was. Yeah, it says uh, 14 inches long. Oh, the little one does too. Well, the big one probably did back in the day if I still had the package for it. Seven and one sixteenths long for the little one. Yeah, really happy to have them. Really liking them so far. Well, I don't know that I'm really liking them so far. I just took them out of the box. I'm really liking this one so far. So I can't imagine I won't like these ones. I don't know, this Icon stuff, it's got a really nice feel to it. It really feels good in your hand. Feels like it's pretty quality stuff. So, now that we've checked them out here, might as well hop over to that old Cadillac motor. Take a couple bolts loose just for the fun of it. See how it handles it. Well, I know it's going to handle it fine, but I really want to do something with them, so that's what we're going to go do. Let's hop over there. The only reason I test these tools on this old engine is because not... You know that I think it's not going to be able to do it. Obviously it will. I just know people like to hear the action of the ratchet. Stuff like that. So that's really the only reason behind that. So here we go. That was the bolt making noise, not the ratchet. That action's so smooth you can't even hardly hear it, but... Now we'll try out the uh, little quarter inch one here. Yep, pretty happy with them. Really like them. Gonna find a spot for them in the toolbox over there. Really add, re really glad to be adding these to the collection. So if you're interested in these icons, I hope you got a good look at them in this video. I think they're pretty sweet. Like I said, I'm no professional. I don't know how they'd hold up in a professional environment. But I really like them. But hey, this is Hoob with Hoob's Garage. Be sure to catch you all in the next one. We'll see you.